Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday, happy April, happy new month, happy no more excuses, anybody. Um, it's just about 7 a.m., and I've just been, like, puttering around, cleaning up. I just uploaded yesterday's vlog, um, so I'm just going to put the links and stuff in, on that video, folding some of Eddie's laundry, and then today's my early day at work, so I have to go in early. I have to wash my makeup off and shower. <laughs> And, um, yeah, going to the gym tonight, not this morning, obviously, because I never do Mondays, and that's all I know so far. One of my snacks today is going to be this huge fresh fruit salad that I just made with mango, blueberries, strawberries, and some banana, and I can't wait to dig into this because I love fruit salads, um, and I don't know, I get a little satisfaction out of eating ones that I've made, and I'm finally trying this almond milk. Um, yogurt today that is coconut flavored so I'm gonna have that and then I have my salad um, <clears throat> and I have a quest bar I still have some quest bars left because I really haven't eaten that many um, like I always say I'm gonna eat them and then I just don't eat them. running super late today uh, I decided last minute like right before I left the house that I wanted to clean the bathroom sink my bathroom sink because I don't know it just had like soap in it and whatever so, that took extra time. So, it's 8.27. I have to be eat at work. Why does my hair look so strange? At 8.30. But, um, it's not far. So, it's okay if I'm a few minutes late. My hair looks like crap. Um, I may... I don't even want to say this, but I may go to spin tonight. I really think that it would open a lot more, um, cardio options for me. So I don't rely so heavily on the other classes. I just, I don't like to work out on cardio machines by myself. I've said that before. So I may go after elevated training tonight. I don't know. haven't decided yet. It is absolutely beautiful here today. It's 60 degrees on Long Island. It's a little windy, so it makes it a little chilly. But you know what? It's not bad at all. So it's uh, 1245. I'm heading out. Just to take a lunch break, um, I get out at 4.30 today because I work 8.30 to 4.30 on Mondays because of my gym classes. Um, so I'm actually going to a clothes store called uh, Joyce Leslie. I don't know if they have them all over. I think they do. So I'm just going to go in there and see what they have. I'm not going to buy anything because I'm really trying not to spend money, but something to do on my break because there's not many, there's not like a town around here or a little village to walk around. So I figured I'd go to a shopping center. Next best, best thing, right? So my plan was not to get anything um, when I went to the store, and I didn't get anything in Joyce Leslie. Then I roamed around TJ Maxx for a good 25 minutes. Wasn't going to get anything. Went over to the food section. Still wasn't going to get anything. Then I came across this. The Perfect Snack, my new favorite company in the entire world, has a new product out, chocolate-covered apple bits. Quarter cup of these is only 165 calories, and the ingredients: dark chocolate, apples, coconut, o coconut oil. However, it's um, it's made in a facility that pr processes nuts and wheat, so these are the only things so far that are not gluten free um, or vegan. But eating clean, staying on track, and I get to snack on chocolate. Per Perfection. I love this company. I really, really do. And I keep finding more and more things that I love from them. Back to work. These things are better than Raisinets. Holy crap. They're really good. If you can find them and you don't have a gluten intolerance and you're not vegan, pick them up, order them online, do whatever you need to do. They're called the Perfect Snack Dark Chocolate Apple Bits. You're welcome. So work day is over. Um, and it was so sunny and nice before when I was out on break. And now it's cloudy raining cold I mean I know it's spring and it does rain a lot in the spring but I, this is not at all what I was expecting so I'm off to the gym I'm definitely doing elevated training I haven't decided if I'm going to do spin yet because I just hate spin I want to like it though because it, like I said this morning it really does open up a lot more opportunities workout wise but just not something I enjoy doing so we'll see I did it. I stayed for spin. So I, did, I worked out for an hour and 40 minutes total and I burned 1,060 calories. I rode 20 miles in 50 minutes. Um, 45 of them were actually like pushing like five minutes was like a warm up or whatever. 
but I enjoyed it and I'm a lot better at it than I thought. I feel a lot better about it than when I've tried it in the past. I think because I'm in better shape now. Before it was, my heart rate would get really high because you're, you know, really pushing in that class. And my, I would freak out a little bit because I'm strapped in and I would feel like my heart rate would never really come down. But now that I'm in better shape, my heart, reco my heart rate recovers almost immediately and I'm able to push, recover, push, recover. I don't know why I'm going like this when I say that. Um, so yeah, I mean, 1,060 calories for a Monday night workout after work. Not too shabby, not too upset about it. So I'll probably be adding spin in um, once or twice a week to my routine just to change it up, you know, shock my bod. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to go home and shower and have some dinner before the voice. Refueling with my new favorite shake. And someone asked in the comment section, I, I just don't remember what video it was. I just remember reading it today, how this shake is considered clean when it has the jello powder in it. To be completely honest with you, I don't think it is because jello is obviously not, jello powder is not clean technically, but... It's not my recipe. I got the recipe from Busy Girls Eat. Busy Girls Eat Clean. And I would think, you know, I would probably ask them and ask them how they justify it as to being clean. Either way, I mean, like I've I've said this many times, um, I'm 80-20 when it comes to eating clean. Some days 90-10, some days 70-30. I don't do it 100% all the time, so... Something like this is not a huge deal to me. It's not going to throw me off my meal plan or whatever. So I'm having it. Um, and I honestly don't think that the shake would taste that different if you didn't have the Jello powder in it. Um, I also don't add the almond extract uh, like I did the first time. And I don't add the Truvia. I kind of subtracted things as I've made the shake. So in this one, it's my vanilla ice cream protein powder from GNC. It is cottage cheese, almond milk, ice... And that's it. And it's still delicious. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this vlog because I am absolutely exhausted. I actually fell asleep on the couch. And now I'm going to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow.